This is a 60,000 uh, BTU Ameristar. This is what we have. Manufactured in 2008. And uh, I haven't uh, cleaned or serviced it uh, since then. So thought of doing it this year because last year we had some uh, icing on these uh, air conditioning pipes. So I think this is a bit clogged the evaporator coil. So I thought of uh, cleaning that and also clearing all the, the old, uh, these are the old uh, thermostat wires. So general cleaning and also fixing this uh, condense, condensate uh, drain pipe. <laughs> it has been like this for some time with patchwork. So I would like to repair this. Otherwise it is working well. So the access is a little difficult. I'm hoping to uh, remove all this, uh, the aluminum foil. And there are screws here. Uh, and hopefully this will come out this part still I'll have a problem I don't want to cut this uh, don't want to lose any freon gas and I'll try and uh, you know budge this plate a little out and see if I get access to the a coil and uh, clean that so I've just open the top cover so this is the uh, inducer uh, motor fan can see the amount of uh, dust and uh, dirt there so I'll clean that. it is actually rotating well but I'll see if I can uh, re-grease uh, the bearings there it's a shaded pole motor so there's no capacitor and uh, this is the gas valve and the pressure sensor and we have the burners it's a three burner The inducer fan is working, I just switched it on so that the gas uh, valve opened up and uh, I'll switch off the light so that you can see the burners. You can see the igniter. So I'll have to remove this connection here. These are the screws. This I'll try removing those. The wrench, much easier I believe. So this is the uh, electrical connector which I removed just now. I'll have to cut off this cable tie so that uh, these two, the inducer motor wires are free. Well as it turns out I didn't have to remove the, to the, the top portion here, the chimney attachment screws. 
just a little bit uh, force and uh, I was able to this is the motor I just removed it now so this is how uh, the attachment is on the top it goes inside so this came off a little bit of uh, pull from down underneath and this portion uh, it came off so I'm just removing it now I just removed it I have to do something about this here because I don't think I'll be able to reuse but I have brought uh, this morning I purchased uh, high temperature uh, silicon so I'll make a gasket and then uh, I'll see if I can reuse it it's not really bad if I cannot then I'll use a uh, I'll use the uh, silicon uh, high temperature one and this is how uh, it looks here So I'll take it outside and uh, with compressed air I'm going to clean it and then uh, assemble it back. So I have brought the motor out outside. The weather is okay, not too cold so it's uh, 5 in the evening but I need to assemble it back because temperature may drop down so before that. I guess uh, removing the the impeller part, the blower part, will be difficult. Uh, so, because normally these uh, motors are replaced, they <laughs> never service. They just replace them. So, I don't want to take the risk of uh, removing this one. It's possible, but in case something gets damaged, I don't want any imbalance on the uh, the fan blades. So inside when I have a look, the blades are not so dirty. I'll continue with the uh, compressed air and then see if I can clean the blades a little bit. Now I just want to uh, make sure the surfaces are clean here. I think I'll take a very fine uh, steel, uh, steel wool and then uh, clean it. It's very rough. Uh, so I just want the mating surfaces to be really clean. At the same time, I don't want to remove the, uh, the plating on this. Last time when uh, the chiller unit, uh, the operator coil froze up, I think some of the water uh, seeped in here after it, uh, after the ice melted. So this is a little rusted here as you can see. I'll just try to clean that. As I mentioned, uh, these are all uh, sealed bearings and uh, you can see the bearing there. However, I'll try to use uh, use the soil and uh, try to put one or two drops there and <laughs> hopefully it goes inside the inducer motor has been serviced now i managed to apply some oil to the sealed bearings and uh, it's now working so one part of the work is done so next is i'll have to uh, open up the uh, remove the burners and then clean the burners so that's the next one and then finally it will be the blower fan uh, down below and eventually I will uh, once I remove the blower fan out I will be uh, I'm planning to uh, you know clean the evaporator coil so that uh, even if any water or any uh, cleaning solution falls down it doesn't fall on the uh, blower motor uh, because it will be out by then so that's the strategy, uh, repair strategy. So now the temperature has reached and uh, the inducer motor has stopped. Burners have stopped, the blower is still working, so that will come to a halt now. So that's for uh, today, I guess. Uh,